Hi there. This is another of the FET simulations. This one is all about Ohm's law. And of course, Ohm's law, which is V is equal to IR, is basically the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Now, a fairly simple looking animation here. What you can actually see is, if I was to increase the voltage, now at the moment the voltage is four and a half volts. You can see here that that's because I have three of these 1.5 volt cells. So I have a battery of cells three of them in series, so of course that makes a total voltage of 4.5 volts. I have a resistor here, that's this thing in red, which has a resistance of 500 ohms. So using Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R, it must work out that the current works out as 9 milliamps. When I increase the supply voltage, you can see the letter V is getting larger, and the letter I is getting larger as well, so do that again. Voltage increases, current increases. In fact, a reset. Now, what's the effect of increasing resistance? What effect does that have on current? Well, when I increase the resistance, you can see that current's getting smaller, both by looking at this value here, but also the letter I, which is getting smaller as R gets larger. Or if I decrease the resistance, the current's getting larger, like so reset that and I'm going to talk a little bit more detail about the actual relationships. The relationship between voltage and current, well they're actually directly proportional. So I've reset this animation, voltage is at 4.5 volts, current's at 9 milliamps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this from 4.5 volts all the way up to 9 volts. So I'm going to double that supply voltage. Let's see what happens to the current. At the moment it's at 9 milliamps. Increase the voltage, in fact, I've doubled the voltage and I've ended up with twice the current. So I've doubled the voltage, doubled the current. That means that voltage and current are what's called directly proportional. When one of them's doubling, the other one's doubling. If one of them, say, was to half, so if I was to take voltage to half its value, to four and a half, it's gone from 18 milliamps to nine milliamps. So halving the voltage halves the current, Doubling the voltage doubles the current. That means that the two of these are directly proportional. What about the current and the resistance? Well, at the moment, the resistance is 500 ohms. Current is 9 milliamps. Let's double that resistance up to 1,000 ohms. So doubling the resistance, what's actually happened is that the current is now halved. So when I double one of these quantities and the other one is halved, that's what's called inversely proportional. If, however, let's start at the beginning again with the resistance at 500 ohms and the current at 9 milliamps, if I was to half that resistance to 250 ohms, what should happen is that the current would then double. Let's see if that works out. Now, find that 250, there it is. So 250 ohms, I get 18 milliamps. So doubling the resistance, I get half the current, or halving the resistance, I get double the current. That's inversely proportional. Now, why don't you try this yourself? Just to get a better understanding of these relationships and to get a better understanding of direct proportionality, that's between voltage and current, and inverse proportionality, that's between current and resistance, because that's something that will come in very important in higher physics and also towards the end of National 5 as well, when we learn more about relationships between variables. But that's us for now, and we'll see you in the next video.